Hey everybody, it's Sean. Check out shootyschool.com for complete courses and hundreds of free tune track theme videos just like this one. And we're gonna talk about finding the right MIDI for easy keys too. Now, a lot of us go to forums and to Facebook groups and Discord groups. You can check out my social groups down below. Links are below. And a lot of us ask, you know, what's the best jazz pack for this? And what's the best rock pack for that and that's a great way it's fun to socialize and that's a great way to get other people's opinions that is if you find a like-minded opinion worth listening to but there's something that can save you way more time and more importantly way more money and it's already built into the product if you go over into the easy keys to grooves tab and you enable the show web shop midi button and you hang out for a minute because it's got to connect to the tune track servers and you know, be able to give you access to their database, you can preview every single MIDI file that they have for sale on their site without being charged for it. You can't use it, but you can listen to it. And now that it's done loading it in, let's just do a brief description of the Grooves tab on this left panel over here. Over here, this is all the MIDI I own for Easy Keys 2, my core library MIDI that comes with the core libraries. And then I also buy sound expansions. So that's why these are here. Here's the sound expansions I own. And if we keep going down, here's the MIDI packs that I own. These are what I'm talking about. You might go to a form and say, hey, what's the best blues MIDI pack? More important than that, well, more popular than that, not important than that, is a lot of more progressive players say, hey, what pack has the most three, four in it because I'm doing a waltz or what, or I'm doing something more progressive. I need seven, eight files. I need six, eight files for my blues. You know, people want different time signatures in their MIDI and they want to buy a pack that has a lot of different time signatures. Now that's a major question right there, which is why this workflow is good. So if you only own Easy Keys 2, you won't see much in this list. I own a lot, but as we scroll down further, we'll see online add-on packs, and then this is responding to us clicking on the show webshop MIDI. Now, everything with the blue dot next to it means you don't own it, but you can listen to it. So if I was to say, hey man, um, I'm doing, uh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm doing a funk song. What does the funk MIDI sound like? I could select this funk MIDI folder, which I don't own, and this MIDI is not even on my computer yet. I personally might select original tempo and original key so I understand the feel and the vibe that the original artist was going for when they recorded this MIDI. And I can just look at my search results area, and when we see this old school World Wide Web icon, we know this is not MIDI that we own yet, but we can listen to it. So I'll just click play, and it probably just takes a second or two depending on your internet connection, and you can hear it. I don't own this MIDI yet. Let's try this one. More important than that, you might have a particular sound and library in mind. So I can say, all right, I don't want the Easy Keys core library. I want to see what the Soul Roads sounds like with this MIDI I don't own yet because I'm using Soul Roads in my funk song. And now we know exactly what that sounds like, man. It's a time saver and a money saver. Not only that, you can still use your filters. So I could say, all right, I want to go funk, but is there any odd time in the funk? Because I'm doing odd time. So with this filter selected, I could scroll down my time signature and say, all right, well, it's only 4-4 four, four in the funk folder. So I don't want that because I want odd time signature. You know, and you could scoot around and go, all right, only 4-4 four, four in hip hop. How about jazz? Oh, look, jazz has 3 4 4 4 5 8 there's some odd time signatures. And that's usually what people, this is a frequently asked question I'm trying to cover here in this video. A lot of people want odd time signatures. And it's to answer their questions, I would have to do an hour's worth of work or some work or this work right here just to tell them they should just do it themselves because it's right there. This tool is fantastic. So, hey, I want to do a jazz song and here's some 5-8. Well, here's what that sounds like. So these filters up here, make this column over here even more valuable because you can really filter through and isolate. I'm into funk. Does it have any of these keywords or these time signatures or beat resolutions that I want in it? And you can really look through 
this, you know, bucket full of MIDI, which is just a bunch of MIDI files slammed into the search results area. Now we can refine what's in there and actually listen if something is there that I need right now. Speaking of needing something right now, if I, let me launch Reaper and I'll just launch a template that I have. There's really a fantastic thing to add on to what we just discussed. Because what we just discussed, that's the end of the video. That's the whole point. You can find this stuff on your own and hear it on your own and answer your questions on your own instead of waiting for someone to reply. And depending on that user's experience level, will you get a certain amount of information? But in this case, I'll just launch Easy Drummer real quick. And let's just say, I have never heard this song before, but I'm going to create a drum song instantly. Let's just say we really like whatever this song is, okay? Great. Let's say you have a full session up and running. Maybe there's a producer behind you whipping you, saying, do this, do that, right? And this is how far you got in your song. And we could have more than drums. I'm going to loop from 11 to 19. Let's just say we're working on this pre-chorus right here. So I'll loop this section in my DAW. This is called the audition trick. I'll link to it below. I teach this workflow, but right now I'm just covering it real briefly. Let's say we're working on the pre-chorus in the song. The drummer's already laid his beat down and the producer's like, dude, I need keyboard lines. Let's go, let's pick it up, let's rock and roll. Maybe you already have vocals and guitar and bass on it, everything. Right now we just have drums we're working on a, on a pre-chorus. Now that we have the drums and whatever instrumentation up and you need a keyboard lick real quick, I could open up Easy Keys. Select the library I want. We'll just stay with Grand Piano. Go on the Grooves tab. Enable Show Web Shop MIDI. Not only can you preview all the MIDI that ToonTrack has to offer before buying it, but you can actually sync it up in your DAW with the material you're working with to see if it works with a song you already have up and running. That's money. <laughs> that's saving time and that's saving money. That's not playing around with your money. So let's hear this beat. This is a random beat I had no clue I was going to use, but we're just going to try and work with it. All right, what is that? Is that boogie? I don't know if that's boogie, but let's find out. Now, check this out. Besides me clicking play and it taking a second for this MIDI file to engage, uh, it will sync up with that drum beat, and then I will actually hear the proof in the pudding of whether that exact MIDI file works with my exact drum beat in production, that exact song I have in production. We'll know if it marries perfectly, and if it does, Click cha-ching, I'm happy because I got a sale I wanted. Tune Tracks happy because they got a sale they wanted. So this is a shuffle. I don't know if it'll work over a straight beat, but let's just check it out since I'm here. All right, as you can see, it does sync. Uh, it's just we're hearing, you know, triplets over straight notes, so that doesn't work. But um, so this is more of a rock beat. So uh, let me just see what's in here. I'm playing the beat of my DAW, and then I literally just click play on this MIDI file. Once it downloads it, it will find it the right place to sync it and play it back to you in time. This is money. Let's try this busier one. I wouldn't say that's perfection and I'm sold, but that's the workflow. That workflow worked. That MIDI file I do not own that I had to pull off the tune track service in real time, just synced with my DAW in real time, and I could make an educated decision and get feedback from my bandmates, my producer, while we're all under the gun in the hot seat. We could decide if that works or not. And if it does, boy, did we do that fast. And boy, are we happy fast. So. I hope you enjoyed me introducing you not only to the web shop MIDI, but the extra credit that you can actually sync it with your current DAW session in production while you're in production to see if it works before you buy it. It's absolutely amazing. I'm Sean from Shooty School. Check out shootyschool.com for full courses and tons of free videos just like this one. Rock on.